talk about the, the, what the people know he saw and why they look like the way they looked. Yes? Mm -hmm. It says, who wants to read verse 9 and 10? Verse 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. And when those beasts give glory and honor yeah. and thanks to him yeah. that sit on the throne, oh, the who beasts. live forever and ever, uh -huh. the four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worship him. Which one are you reading? He's reading four. Ah, hey, read chapter five. five. Verse oh. nine and ten. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. And they sang a new song, Hallelujah. saying, mm. Thou art worthy mm -hmm. to take the book yes. and to open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou wast slain uh -huh. and hast redeemed us to God mm -hmm. by the blood out of every kindred ah. and tongue yes. and people ah. and nation. My Verse 10, mm -hmm. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. You see that there now? It says you have redeemed men unto God from every tribe, nation, and language, and people, and then you have made them a kingdom of priests. You see it now. You see why he saw those all of them. He says all of them were wearing the same. All of those ones entering the rapture, the same. There was no one without the heaven. All of them. He says you have the, meaning. He is it's as if the Father is saying. Exactly as I wrote it in the Bible, I'm going to fulfill it to the letter, to the letter. Yes? And apparently it's, everything is going to happen just as he said. No? Now if you go to chapter 1 of Revelation, you also see that he celebrates this priesthood. Yes? Yeah? Uh, 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 verse, verse 5 and 9, uh, 5 and 6, he, he, he chose he, is a, he chose to put this in the introduction because he, he, he loves it so much. He says, and from Jesus, greetings now. He says, may grace and peace from, from the Father. And then he says also, from Jesus Christ and from Jesus Christ, the faithful and trustworthy witness, the first one of the dead, first to be brought back to life, and the prince, the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who ever loves us and has ever uh, once and for all loosed and freed us from our sins by his own blood and formed us into a kingdom, a royal race, a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. That's what the prophet saw. He saw priests entering into heaven. No? He didn't saw, he didn't see other people, only priests. The holy priesthood, a royal race. Priest to his God and Father, to him be the glory and the power and the majesty and the dominion throughout the ages. Now, now when you read this, he says, now he ties this to his love, but let's not go too, too much there. But you can see what he's talking about. He says, the, the people going up dress the same. In fact, he even says, he even describes how they were wearing, how that garment comes like this. And then somehow there's another flap, there's a flap over and then there's another one underneath here. He says, like angelic beings. And then when he reads that, I remember Matthew 22, verse 37. What did he say? He says, in heaven, or in the resurrection, he says, in the resurrection. They asked him, this man, this woman had seven husbands. Who's going to be the, one, the husband in the resurrection? He said, you, you don't know the word of God and its power. In the resurrection, they neither marry nor are they given into marriage. No, 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 no. This one is different. I, I, I've gone to the wrong one. Is it? Verse 30. Aha. Powerful. For in the resurrected state, neither do men marry nor are women given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. So even that is true. He says, like angelic beings. It is true. Don't just read this. Ask. I think Jesus just wants us to be excited. <laughs> oh, oh, the Bible is just looking for a way to, 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 to put some encouragement, to give you some self-esteem. No, it's not about self-esteem here. No? He says, he really wants us to be a holy priesthood. But now if you are going to be that holy priesthood, don't forget the, what? the instruction in the book of Peter. He says what? The second same Peter we, we just read. He says, as we close down, oh, I'm so excited. He says, 
Yep. Listen. Now. Well, this is be thou holy, for I am holy. What do you write? Second. Oh, maybe second Peter. Mm. Second Peter. Yeah, I think so. Excuse me. It's been a while since I read that scripture. <laughs> uh huh. So in second Peter now he says, or in first Peter somewhere there he says. Be thou holy, for I am holy. He says, you cannot enter into heaven if you are not holy. Without holiness, no man shall enter, no man shall see him. And there's a promise in the Bible that we are going to see his face. You are going to see him face to face if you are holy. He says, and you are going to see him face to face, finally, right there sitting across the table. This glorious face. No longer are you going to faint just because you are looking at him. Because he says, in the book of Matthew 18, he says, Be careful, don't leave these small ones. Because they are angels, they are ever looking at the face of the Father. This is like angel, angelic beings. You are also going to see the face of the Father. But you must be holy. That's the instruction that is coming out of this. And he says we must prepare the garment. We don't have time to learn about the garment too deep. Now we, ju we just really read the scriptures that talk about the, that talk about the tavern, yeah? To say to you that indeed he saw the holy priesthood entering. Says, he says, be that holy priesthood that will enter. And Peter says, if you want to be that holy priesthood that enter, be thou holy and be righteous. First Peter one sixteen. Ah, powerful. Let's read it. Thank you. First Peter one sixteen. I'm already there. <laughs> Actually, from 15. Well, mm -hmm. we can start from 14. From 13 also. <laughs> or from 13. <laughs> yes. Who wants to read it? 16. Uh, first Peter, first Peter chapter, one, chapter 1, verse 13 to 16. Wherefore, mm -hmm. gather the loins mm. of your mind, be sober, mm -hmm. and hope to. And hope to the end yes. for the grace that is to be brought you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 14 is obedient children, mm. not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts mm. and the ignorance. Mm. 15. Yes. But as he which had called you is holy, yes. so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. 16. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. For mm. it is written, mm. Be ye holy. For I am holy. That's the requirement of heaven. It says, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees, forget about heaven. We don't know how we will look like on that day, but now he has told us. But he also promised that in that state, we are also going to be like him. In the book of John it says. Amen? Let us prepare. And I wanted to say some things like uh, uh, some, some prophecies in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and how some people say that this prophecy in the book of Revelation chapter 12 is, is in the heavens, is in the stars, as the Bible says. It's, I saw a, a, a sign in the stars. The people are saying, this sign is essentially going to take place this year on the 23rd of September. Now, whether it is the one or not, uh, we can only hope it is. No? We can hope it is, and if it is the one, then that means something very exciting for those that are going to be found ready. And the question is, is it before or after the rapture? Or during the rapture? Now, not the tribulation, but this sign, the constellation of the stars. People are saying, this one now, it is exactly what the, the scriptures have spoken about. And then you, you see other things taking place. And one of the men that was talking about this sign, then he says, uh, if you look at this day, because the Bible says, I don't want to go on teaching, except if you allow me. <laughs> but I just want to keep it brief. Yes, he says this sign that has been that has been discovered in the stars will take place on the twenty third of September. The Bible says it is the the birthing of the sun, the woman that went into travail and gave birth. And now, listen to this something very interesting. A pastor called Pastor Steve called called. Eh, sorry, I'm not. 
I don't want to say his name now. Chiocolanti. Yes. Chiocolanti. Chiocolanti. From Australia. He said, A child is conceived nine days before the birth. Is it true or not? It's correct. Don't you agree with me? Doctors. Yeah, I agree. Pharmacists, you know. <laughs> ah, you know, it is common knowledge, yes? The child takes nine days to, to be born. Nine, nine, nine months, not days. Oh, oh. Nine nine days. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, not days. Months, yes? Okay, you say yes. Okay, <laughs> children take nine months to be born, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. So he says now, if you count nine months, not days, from that day, it will take you to Jan uh, December the 23rd of 2016. And then he says, just mark that day. I think that was 2014 he was saying this. Okay, I'm not sure. He says, mark this day, the 23rd of, of December, 2016. Something will happen. Uh, he was not saying it as a prophet. He was just saying, I mean, just, just nine months. Now, and surely something happened that has to do with Israel. And when it happened, Many people pointed to the book of Zechariah chapter 12 verse 3. <laughs> I really don't want to go too far, but I will try to keep it short, yes? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Now, Zechariah chapter, three, chapter 12 verse 3 talks about how the nations will be allied against Israel. And in the, on the 23rd of December 2016, it was all over the news, but of course here in, in Moscow we don't watch the news too much. That's when the United Nations Security Council, all the members voted against Israel. Of course, the one did not vote, he abstained, the US, but really they, they, did, they abstained so that the bill could go forth. So it's, it's like willful agree, you know, it's like voting without really voting. <laughs> but you don't want to look too bad, so you just vote by abstaining. That, that momentous event took place on the 23rd of December 2016. Now, if Mr. Chocolatis' speculation that something will happen on that day indeed happened, then what will happen on the 23rd of September 2017? I don't know. Do you know? No? I don't know. You know. But the rapture is happening. Now, that event took place, and then the next month, the Lord takes his servant and shows him people entering into heaven. We have spoken much. I remember one day I said here, we don't have 20, day, 20 more years to come. And I'm beginning to believe my words even more now. now. I don't think we have 20 more years to go. Maybe I took it too far so that I have a very good margin <laughs> of error. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but you know, it may even be months, you know, or, or a few years, but we don't have 20 more years. I'm convinced. Because this day the prophet said, I think my time is running out. Mm -hmm. Begin to plan for heaven. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for taking this time to teach us. Indeed, help us. That our ears may be open to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Oh, Holy Spirit, I pray, Lord, that our ears here today and always until the rapture takes place. Our ears will always be open to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Lord, we don't want to miss this rapture. We don't want to be that church that will roll on the ground, gnashing their teeth, rolling on the ground. Have mercy on us, Lord. Give us the grace to prepare, to be found ready, to take away any obstacle. Is it sexual sin? Is it idolatry? Is it, is it, is it the love of money? Is it love of, of material things, gadgets? Is it anger? Is it hatred? Is it division? Whatever it is, Lord, take away those obstacles from our lives. Everything and anything that is the ability and the capacity to stain our garments. Make them wrinkle. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you help us. Holy Spirit, remove these stains from us. We repent, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, O Lord. Father, have mercy on us. And I don't know if there's anyone here among us who needs to ask the Lord for forgiveness, to repent, to ask the Lord for forgiveness. 
I don't know if we're all ready to enter the kingdom of God if the rapture takes place today. But you know yourself, you know. I know my walk with Christ, and you know your know walk with Christ. And if your walk with Christ is not straight, I implore you today, please, just repent before the Lord. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Even now, you know, we, let us not put off repentance for tomorrow, for the next week. Or if you are not baptized, I encourage you, please, be baptized as soon as possible. You know, and, and, and just, just if, if, if you need to repent from some sins you've been doing, from some secret sins, you know, you go back, you do something, and then you repent, and then you go. We cannot continue doing that anymore, you know. If, if it's Neo's music, just shut it down and stop going back to Neo. If it's, it's Rihanna's music, just shut it down and stop listening and stop fighting, you know. And say, the, the Bible says, Joshua said, for how long, you know, are you going to worship the gods from the other side of the Jordan or are you going to worship the Lord? You know, and, 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 and their prophet Elijah said, For how long are you going to stand between two gods? So I encourage you, don't stand with you know, worshiping two gods. And then today you are going to church, and then tomorrow you are you're watching back, whatever Backstreet Boys. I don't know what. If, if that is your life today, I tell you in the name of Jesus, that this is now the time we have to repent. This is the golden opportunity we have to repent before the door is shut. And Father, we just ask you right now, and just ask the Lord for forgiveness, even right now, just ask the Lord to forgive you your sins. Just repent before Him. Just tell Him, ask Him for the grace to help you not to go back to those sins. Ask Him give, to, to give you the grace that you may continue in purity, in holiness, to keep growing in spiritual maturity, to keep going back to, to stop going back to sin, to stop going back to sin, but to keep going forward, to prepare this garment that you may be found as a holy priesthood. Holy Spirit, Father, forgive me. Forgive me. Have mercy on me. Just tell the Lord. Tell Him, just repent from your sins. I don't know who you are, but just, just ask the Lord to, to forgive you from your sins. He says, for you abundantly pardon. And Lord, we trust that indeed we believe and we have confidence that you forgive us our sins. You said, if we confess our sins, you forgive us. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to have mercy on us right now. And forgive us. Help us, O oh Lord, to walk in holiness. To cast off every burden. All these things that Peter tells us to put away from us. All these things that the Apostle Paul tells us to put away. And we may walk in holiness and forgiveness and righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.